Hello there and uh, welcome, it's Jonathan from Internet Future and this is Social Today. So this is where I a whole bunch of social media tips. We have a theme for the week and uh, oh, phone making uh, making noises uh, there. Oh, tweeting, uh, tweeting goddess, welcome. Uh, and uh, this week we're looking back on the tips that we've covered on uh, LinkedIn throughout the course of the uh, course of the week. Uh, look, using this um, checklist, uh, uh, using this uh, checklist here uh, as a sort of like a prompt for the week as an agenda. So you'll see number five, which equates to Friday, is review people you may know and make connections. So these are basically suggested uh, daily tasks that uh, you carry out to make a success of uh, LinkedIn. Uh, in fact, uh, on the back, we've got weekly tasks as well. Uh, so uh, if you'd like that uh, checklist, do let me know, and um, I'll let you have it in electronic uh, format. Welcome, uh, welcome, Rick. Do feel free to jump in at any time with any questions or comments on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn was very much in the news uh, yesterday. Uh, a lady called, uh, I think it was Charlotte, was it? Let me uh, just double uh, check that. Uh, I think she was called um, Charlotte Proudman. Uh, received um, a comment uh, via, uh, yeah, Charlotte Proudman received a comment um, uh, in a connection request uh, over LinkedIn uh, by, uh, by a barrister which she took, uh, took offence at. Uh, it was quite a big story here in the UK, so I don't know if anyone heard about that or anyone's got any um, views on that, but it just goes to show the importance of personalising your messages when you're communicating with people, particularly when you're connecting with them for the first time on uh, on LinkedIn. So do be careful about your choice of words when you are uh, making those uh, those connections. Uh, welcome to everybody who is uh, just uh, just joining. So uh, first of all, before we get into the people you may know section, just going to have a bit of a review of the uh, week in terms of what we've um, covered on uh, on LinkedIn. So point number one was posting an update. So basically, we looked at different ideas that you could uh, include in your updates, such as links to blog posts and uh, articles and stuff like that. But really, the main theme about all these uh, daily tasks that we've gone through this week is to is to get active. You know, if you want to be seen on LinkedIn, you want to get noticed then you do need to get active. Then on Tuesday, we looked at who's viewed your profile, a pretty handy feature, both for sort of a curiosity point of view, but you can actually um, pick up leads uh, from that if you get people interested in looking at you or if you're looking for a job, perhaps uh, a potential employer is checking out your uh, profile. And then on uh, Wednesday, uh, welcome back uh, Sam, uh, then on Wednesday we had a mammoth uh, one hour show to celebrate my 100th today, uh, 100th social today show. Uh, I gave out 100 tips on LinkedIn in a single uh, show and if you missed that you can get that, uh, you can literally catch up with it on catch.me, uh, that's K-A-T-C-H dot, uh, dot me and uh, you can find me on, uh, on there at Internet Future and uh, view those 100 LinkedIn tips in that hour uh, broadcast, bit of a mammoth session that was. Then yesterday we looked at uh, keeping in touch um, uh, suggestions. Uh, and uh, today uh, we are going to have a look at people you may know. So people you may know feature is quite, it's a bit harder to access now than it used to be. Uh, so once you've gone through the keeping in touch suggestions that we looked at uh, yesterday, uh, let me just get LinkedIn on the, um, on the screen here. So uh, basically that's the keeping in touch box. If you skip through that, all those 15 to the end, you will get to the people you may know section where what LinkedIn is basically is using a, an algorithm to make suggestions of people that it might be useful for you to connect with on, um, on LinkedIn. So if they are suitable people to connect with, you can check their profile, uh, have a look at them, then do connect with them, particularly if you uh, have got some sort of pre-existing relationship uh, with them um, or you have somebody, uh, somebody in common. So the kind of people that you want to connect with really, you know, a uh, superb example is after a networking event or a business conference. Great way of maintaining uh, contact, building relationships with people that, uh, that you've met at, uh, at, a, at a business uh, business meeting. 
um, such as the uh, was it the Wexford Business Expo um, you were broadcasting uh, from Sam uh, earlier uh, earlier this week. That's an ideal example of an event that you could uh, really nicely uh, follow up well on um, on LinkedIn. So uh, as I mentioned before, uh, do personalise your uh, contact requests. Personality is uh, is great. Uh, do make sure that you stress commonalities. That's a really good one to build the relationship with the person. So if you've got a mutual connection and that mutual connection happens to be a client, then that's brilliant because you can refer to that. Uh, it gives you instant credibility and helps you kick off that relationship with the person that you're connecting with. So use the people you may know feature, Go through the other bits on the checklist that we've been talking about during uh, during this week, and it all comes down to being active on LinkedIn. And if you get active on LinkedIn, you will get results. It only takes sort of 10 or 15 minutes uh, per day to to do that. And you know, I kind of hate using myself as an example, but I do try to practice what I preach with the social media stuff. And I I have landed my biggest ever client uh, this year, a multi, uh, not multi million, but a multi billion dollar uh, subsidiary um, uh, of a, a U.S. company, of a, of a multi billion dollar U.S. company. Uh, so uh, that was through a direct approach that I made uh, to their marketing director over over LinkedIn. Uh, and you can do exactly the same, uh, whatever it is that uh, that you do, whether you're in professional services or um, you sell a product. Uh, LinkedIn is just great for, for getting business, getting ahead and advancing your uh, your career. Uh, so um, I haven't actually got a topic for next week yet, so if anybody's got any topics they would like to suggest uh, in the social media world that uh, I can cover next week, I'll basically chop those up from Monday through till Friday and uh, and cover those off each day of the uh, each day of the week on whatever theme that uh, that you like uh, to give you some examples of what we've uh, covered in the hundred shows uh, 102 now uh, shows so far uh, everything from using social media for events to uh, stuff around Twitter um, Facebook advertising uh, social media generally uh, we haven't actually looked at Periscope yet, so somebody suggested that yesterday. So um, although there are a lot of people uh, putting out some really good stuff on uh, on Periscope um, already, um, so um, uh, I've yet to decide. So still open for suggestions on um, topics for uh, for next week. So um, uh, very quiet on the comments front today, folks. So um, it actually, it does seem that the afternoon shows are a bit bit slower, a bit quieter. Uh, than the than the morning ones, but if you have got any questions, comments, or suggestions for a theme next week, do type into the comments right now or tweet me at Internet Future. Uh, that would be uh, that would be really cool. Uh, but if there is nothing more uh, today, uh, do have a fantastic weekend. I'm off to Cornwall for the for the weekend shortly down the uh, down the M5, uh, and uh, have a good one. Whatever it is. That